So today we're talking about clubhouse defenses. So who is the best operators on clubhouse, specifically on the defense? I did the attackers already? That's on my channel already as well. You can click the fucking icon or whatever. Starting off here, we have smoke. Now smoke on clubhouse is gonna be S tier. Smoke's gonna be S tier on literally every map. He has all the site set up, his SMG 11's a beast. The smokes just make for great playmaking, plant denial, and there's a lot of opportunity to use smoke very, well on clubhouse right behind them is going to be mute mute is also going to be an s tier op on this map for the basement you can do like a mute roam you can set up your jammers on a roam open up above kitchen deny the kitchen hatch open up above moto deny the moto hatch from being open so you can do a lot with roam on the, uh mute on the roam on the basement but on the cc side as well you can use the mute jammers very effectively for the garage rafters a single construction wall you can mute off master side red stairs the drone hole there's so many good mute spots to just stop the enemies from being able to get information as easily and if you're playing mute for drones on this map that's that's a great way to do it and then we have pulse pulse is eh, he's pretty mid on this map like you can use him on the basement site but everybody's pretty much ready for that at this point. A lot of, not a lot of people are just gonna waltz into kitchen anymore for a free nitro kill for you. So picking pulse usually is a bit of a detriment just because you can be bringing a little bit of extra utility to help out in a different spot for your team. On the gym site, you can get some good nitros onto the logistics floor and on the CC site, you could technically like retake lounge and nitro the plant, but you're probably not gonna get to that situation anyway. For those reasons, I think Pulse is probably like C tier on this map. And if you're picking him every time on Basement Army, please try somebody else out and see how it goes because I really just don't think picking Pulse is the best way to go about playing that site. And then we have Castle. Castle is a great operator overall. I think Castle is actually really strong on every site on this map. For the bar site, he's great. For the CCTV bomb site, you can extend out underneath with the castles to help you hold underneath. For the basement sites, you can go on a roam and do a huge like castle roam, which is super, super strong. If you're bunkering on the basement, castle would be less than recommended. Um, but there are a few different castle chats that are pretty good on this map. For those reasons, I think he's B or A tier, somewhere around here. Definitely not the best pick by any means, but can definitely have some viable strategies on on club for Jaeger I think Jaeger is also S tier for the basement bomb site you know holding blue is super important using the ADS is there or in dirt tunnel or the main hallway are all super good nades are pretty big on this map as I mentioned in my attacker video from before so ADSs are going to be the direct counter that and be very useful CCDV gym you definitely want the ADSs or will my for these so Jaeger is going to have to be S tier one of the best ops you can bring on this map probably even a little bit more useful than mute I think Bandit's a controversial one because a lot of people do bring Bandit on Clubhouse. I think Bandit is really only necessary when they're not running Mav or Maverick is banned because then you can Bandit trick via a Thatcher EMP or a Cali Lance if people are assigned to use those. That being said, a little less useful, a little more situational, and if Cade is up, you probably want to be running Cade over the Bandit. Cade is banned a lot in lower ranks, so it's tough to say, but I think Bandit is probably like B tier just because Cade is banned a little more often in those other ranks. If Cade is up though, I would probably move Bandit down to even like a C tier and yeah, he's, he's a little more situational. I'm personally not a huge fan of Tachanka whatsoever. I think Tachanka is kind of ass, just straight up. Smoke is just a much better option than him. You're very vulnerable with Tachanka, and his fire does not cover anywhere near an area that Smoke does. On top of that, they don't distort the enemy's vision, so they're just not as good as Smoke Grenades, and I think the Smoke themselves are just much better. On Clubhouse, though, Tachanka can be good for that CCTV default plant. For basement, it's going to be a little tougher to actually get those Shamikas in the right spot where you want them just because of the way they bounce and bank and they're kind of strange in that sense. Now, if you know your Tachanka lineups, first of all, you're a weirdo. Second of all, that would help, I guess. But I really just don't see Tachanka being super great on this map. I'm going a, I'm to a drop him. I'm drop him below Pulse in the C tier. Capcan is actually really good on Clubhouse. Capcan's a really good op overall, especially in ranked when people aren't droning. Most of the time, a lot of people aren't droning at least. Setting your Capcan traps up in like the bar with the vending machine, that, that single doorway, a lot of people like going through there. You can set them up uh, for kitchen freezer. You can just set them up anywhere upstairs when you're defending the basement because people are probably just running through there all the time. Um, actually, they are running through there all the time. Bottom main stairs is another great spot. On CCTV, I would probably run Capcan a little less just because they are fighting from like outside the breach a lot of the time and less often coming from that master side. Uh, I think Capcan on Clubhouse is probably like a top B tier, similar to Castle as much as I use them. Normally Capcan would probably be like A tier for me. I really think Capcan's a great op, but for Clubhouse specifically, I think he'd land top of B area.
Now we got Rook, and this is probably one of the best maps for Rook because there are so many spawn peaks on it. You have that 2.0x site, and there are some impact runouts you can do where you impact out, you know, the jacuzzi balcony. You can impact out a dirt and spawn peak that way. You can run out a kitchen. So there are, there are a lot of spawn peaks that the 2.0 will help you out with. Overall, pretty bad op. Utility's not gonna help him much. He's gonna be like D tier for me, maybe even F, but I know I'd get complaints in the comments if I put him in F tier. So I'm gonna drop him in D. Doc is just worse than Rook. Uh, Thunderbird is a much better option than Doc. If you play a lot of Doc, start playing Thunderbird. Thunderbird's spear is much better than the MP5. It does way more damage. Yes, you are losing that 1.5 sight, but the Kona stations himself are just super good compared to the stim pistols. So Doc's gonna be F tier, really no redeeming qualities, especially on Clubhouse. Then we have Frost. Frost is really, really good on Clubhouse uh, for the gym site, at least. On the basement site, not getting like anything done with those Frost mats. On the CCTV site, yeah, you could put one like top of the garage stairs. That's probably the only one that might actually get some traction. But most of the time on Clubhouse, you want utility that is reliable and consistent, whereas Frost mats are unpredictable if they'll actually work or not and really just not consistent so for those reasons yes frost is good on the gym site but i think she's like a bottom b tier op for clubhouse specifically maybe even c maybe even like slightly better yeah i'm, I'm gonna put her i'm gonna put her right above pulse actually in the c tier so not her best map not her best map then we have valk and i think valk is a fantastic operator like valk's an s tier operator on most maps she's super super strong on clubhouse though not so much. Sure, you could put some cans for like the kitchen hallway or the kitchen if you're on basement and try to get a nitro kill there. Same kind of thing as Pulse here though. You know, it's people are kind of used to this at this point. You can just bait out the C4s. Um, even running IQ on this map, you don't even need an IQ if they're running Valk. Like it's pretty easy to find those Valk camps. She's a decent op on this map, but she isn't S tier as she would usually be. I still think Valk camps are super, super strong though and very impactful. So Valk's gonna be A tier for me. Probably lower side of the A tier once we fill it up with a couple more ops. Next up we have Cav and I think Cav is kind of ass. She is kind of ass, but you know, a Cav roam on the basement, you could bust that out once in a while and it could be semi-decent. I think she's probably just above Rook here, you know. Cav, pretty garbage operator. This is probably the highest I'll ever put her in a tier list ever. So there you have it. What about Echo though? I think Echo is a super underrated operator, just not on Clubhouse. Echo is kind of a, a pick you don't need on Clubhouse. He can be decent on the CC site. You can set one up in Garage, get a lot of info for Garage and deny the plant at the same time. Besides that though, I can't really justify picking him too often. Maybe for the blue stairs on the basement, you could... You could echo them if they're pushing down oil or secret stairs, so that's some good info there as well. So basement site, decent. CC site, decent. I just think there's usually just better picks than him. So I'm gonna drop him kind of like behind Bandit in this B tier area. Then we have Mira, and Mira is banned all the time on pretty much every map, so it's tough to say. That being said, I think she is okay on Clubhouse. For the basement sites, having a mirror on that church wall and not reinforcing the far left wall facing at bottom main is a really strong way to do that. And putting your other one facing blue is a really, really good way to hold that control. So I think mirror on the basement site would probably be S tier, hands down. On the gym site, she's also really good. You can put one on the logistics wall facing construction and one facing the main jacuzzi breach where people typically open. On the CCTV site, where are you really gonna put your mirrors? You could put one top red facing construction but most of the time people aren't pushing through here anyway. And you could put one in cash facing the breach, but they're not gonna be super, super impactful on this site. Because she is so good on the other two sites, I think I will still put her in the S tier. It's just not near the top as she normally would be. You know what, she's kinda, no, she's kinda ass on CC still. I'm gonna put her top of A tier, right, right in front of Val. Next up we have Ella, and Ella has been nerfed like at least like 48 times it feels like since her release. She started off just one of the most OP broken operators and has slowly gotten worse and worse. For Grismont Mines, distort audio and make it a little bit more difficult to see for attackers that hit them now. So they're nowhere near as, as impactful as they used to be. They are still good for audio cues and information though. And unlike the basement site where there's multiple avenues the attackers can come from, they can be somewhat useful. On CCTV, probably not getting much out of her. Now on top of that, she does have a shield. So that gives her a couple bonus points, but I still think just overall, not a great operator. She's gonna be bottom of the C tier for me. How about Legion though? Is Legion the best? best or the worst stop on Clubhouse. Legion's pretty good on Clubhouse. I think for basement site, you can hit a roam with Legion and be super impactful. CCTV, it's nice to have the information on construction, bottom red, garage. Uh, there's a lot of really good spots just to put the goo mines in general. And I think Legion is 
uh, a top tier op on this map. I would say he's probably A tier, probably on the backside of A tier. This one might be a hot take. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree with the A tier Legion or not. Some people I think will say lower. I definitely not higher, but maybe like top of B instead of A. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave him here for now. Let me know what you think. Vigil. Vigil's one of my favorite operators. I think Vigil is so good. So good. Um, on Clubhouse though, not so good. He's pretty good on the basement for the roam. He is actually very good on the basement for a roam, but CCTV and gym, Vigil is really not bringing much for your team. These are two sites that you want a lot of utility. You want to kind of rework the site so that you can play it because they are so congested and so small. For those reasons, my boy Vigil, I'm sorry, man. You're going to be in the C tier. Frost is probably a bit better than him. And Pulse, I would say, is a little worse just because Pulse's rounds aren't going to be as impactful as that one big basement round for Vigil. Clubhouse is Cade's best map. If you watch every operator's best and worst map video that I posted, you'll know that Cade is an absolute beast on Clubhouse. This is the best map for Cade, and I actually think Cade is the best operator slash defender on this map because of the fact that wall denial is so important on Clubhouse. Keeping the walls closed and stalling time on the walls is one of the most just basic things you need to do on Clubhouse to keep wasting time. Otherwise, you're just going to get overwhelmed with the attackers super quick. Maisho is actually really strong on Clubhouse, but a lot of people don't play him. For CCTV, you can see the breach. You have an info for the breach if you put a bubble in there. Uh, for the basement, you can see all the back armory or bottom main stairs. Maisho is a super good pick on Clubhouse. I think he's good on literally every site. And I also think he's super underrated. I would say he's probably in A tier right above Valk, like even a better pick than Valkyrie on this map. How good is Alibi on Clubhouse? Is she one of the best? Is she one of the worst? I think Alibi is one of the best on Clubhouse. Alibi overall, just one of the best operators. She brings a shield, which are very strong on this map. And with all the windows, like on the gym site, you can put the prismas on the windows so they can't hop in through them. For the basement site, you can put them on the boxes or on the church just to stall time or trick people coming from blue or dirt. Even in CCTV, you can set her clones up in the rafters and people from the breach or garage will be shooting them when they try to come in. So overall, great op. Uh, and great on Clubhouse as well. I think she's probably just under Valk here. Going back to my other video, if you watched every operator's best and worst map, this is also Wamai's best map. Wamai is super, super strong on this map, especially because Cappy Tau is also very good on this map. So using Wamai on CCTV for the rafters, so you're not getting naded out or flamed out, as well as the basement for the uh, blue push or the dirt push or the kitchen drop. There's so many good spots to put Wumai's discs on this map. As long as you can stay alive, Wumai is going to be an S tier op for you, even above Jaeger, I would say. What about Goyo though? Is Goyo any good on Clubhouse? And no, he's kind of shit on Clubhouse. Ever since his rework, his canisters have been really tough to actually find places to put them. Most of the spots where you want to put a Goyo canister, the attackers can shoot them from some sort of angle. So if you're putting the same Goyo canisters, it's going to be very easy for your attackers to be like, oh, it's just right here. I can just go to this angle and shoot it or just drone it out and go shoot it. Now, that being said, I guess you can put one in like the red drone hole on CCTV so they can't drone into the site, which is kind of interesting. Or you can stall time on like the garage door or even just the breach push in. So I don't think he's the most horrible option, but I really don't think he's as impactful as most of these other operators would be. For those reasons, I'm going to have to put him in the C tier right behind Tachanka. Clubhouse is a map that you don't roam very much besides the basement site. On the gym site, on the CCTV site, you're playing very close to the site or around the site to kind of contest things in that area. Now, the Mozzie Pass in the lounge on the CCTV site does stall the attackers trying to get in through there while giving you information in the process with those drones, of course. So Mozzie, he's okay on the CC site, but I think there are better picks. On the basement site, I think he can be great on a roam once again, but if you're bunkering, he's not going to be as good of a pick. He does have the Nitro Cell, which is very good for this map, um, but in general, I think Mozzie is kind of like a B tier op probably no better than Echo would be. This isn't a great map for Clash because there are a lot of angles you can get by opening breaches and going to windows. There's not a lot of fall off routes you can actually get with her. Now, I do think she is good in the garage rafters for the defenses because you can set up slow people as they're coming up the stairs, shock people as they're coming in the breach, and really just gain all this info for your team. Now, that being said, you are relying on your team, which who knows, depending on your randoms or teammates, but... Basement site, not going to be super ideal. Not going to be super ideal on really any site. I think she's probably just a little bit better than Cav, but no higher than the B tier. D tier. The D. Malusi is going to be super, super effective on club. She's great for the red stairs, garage stairs, garage breach, CC window hop in construction on CC. For the gym bedroom site, for the main stairs, the con push, 
a main breach push. She's great on the basement site for dirt tunnel, blue stairs, main stairs, the armory drop, the long haul. There's so many good, good, not even good, great, great spots for Malusi to put her wubs on Clubhouse. I think she is honestly an S tier op, maybe even better than my. I'm actually sticking right behind Wamai because Wamai is super, super good. Um, but top four right now, Malusi definitely earned her place in the S tier for club. Order on Clubhouse is not getting much done. I think he's honestly in the D tier. Uh, that mustache isn't going to save you, bro. Maybe slightly better than Cav. Nah, probably slightly under Cav. You're not seeing a lot of smoke play. Maybe if they're dropping the hatch, they're flashing or smoking. Most of the time, it's pretty easy to avoid these in general. His ability isn't going to get much done for you, and it's pretty self-explanatory why he's not great here. Orcs is great for a basement roam, once again. Uh, he's fast. You can jump up the hatches. You can definitely move around a lot with orcs on the basement, which is nice. For the other two sites, though, he's not really accomplishing too much. Maybe on the gym site, you can play more of a bar lurk and jump up a kitchen hatch if you need to for a flank, etc. So I think he does have some decent maneuvers on this map but more often than not i think he's not achieving too much so i think he's probably like in the c tier maybe just above ella here now rooney's a pretty good operator on clubhouse i think jaeger and umai are just much better for protecting your utility and actually achieving what you're trying to achieve for those reasons i think she's probably like a low b tier op maybe even c tier actually i'd probably put her here just above pulse i still think even vigil might be a better pick than her because there are just much better options in a Rooney. I would probably just take any of the ops above her here over picking her. Thunderbird's pretty decent on this map. I think there are a lot of times where the heals come in clutch. I th I'm thinking either A tier or B tier for this. She does have that Nitro, which again, Nitros are really strong on this map. I would probably put her down here behind Legion. I can't believe I put Legion so high. Legion's gonna go behind Castle just because Legion's mines aren't actually that good. So yeah, Legion, you've been deranked. Sorry, homie. Kona Stations, Spear, Nitro, all great things. I'm gonna land Thunderbird in A tier for this. I just got I just got a thing for the Spear Suppressed, guys. I'm sorry. Lauren's actually gonna be pretty decent on Clubhouse. Uh, similar to Ella, like her traps are good on this map. There's a lot of spots you can put them that does kind of just like fuck up the defenders or attackers, sorry. So she is decent. I would probably put her in the C tier uh, above Ella, but probably above Pulse and Aruni as well. Even Vigil, I think that Thorn is actually pretty good on this map, and I'm not a huge Thorn th fan, so that's saying a lot. Azami is a beast on this map. This is Azami's best map, hands down, and Azami is one of the best operators right now. I'm going to be coming out with a full Azami guide shortly, actually, because I think she is just so underused and so underrated, especially in ranked. Uh, I would honestly even put her above Cade, but I do think Cade is just that one extra little thing that you need on this map. Now, Azami on the basement, you can block off angles from the kitchen hatch, you can block off dirt, you can block off blue, you can block off main stairs. You, there's so many just different spots to use them for protection. It completely reworks the gym site to make it much more viable and make those windows add much less pressure to the site. And on CC, you can use her in rafters or you can use her just right in the cash room to just give yourself more cover and give yourself more options in terms of where you're able to move and how you're able to rotate around those sites. So Azami, you cannot go wrong with picking her on this map. So there you have it, guys. There's my tier list. These are the best operators and worst operators to play on Clubhouse. So honestly, if you're picking five of these S tier ops every single round, I would not have a problem whatsoever. As long as you have a Jaeger or Wamai in there and a smoke, a zombie. Oh my gosh, this is a freaking, this is a beast lineup right here. What am I saying? These are nuke ops. Really anything above like the mid C to S tier, I wouldn't complain about too much. Uh, if you are picking anything below that though, I would probably be a little questionable about it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys are enjoying this new series. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Have a good day. Bye-bye.